see I, I wore black for you today, John. <laughs> and I for you, Nick. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> I, do I blend into the background? Um, no. Oh. No. Well, yeah, a I'm little sorry. Bit. I can try harder. No, I like the Nashville thing. It looks very cool. It's you know what? It's very 1970s. I think that's what they were going for. And I think I you're know right. you can't really see it, but it's the city. Ah, yep. Upside down. And then of, it says kinda. Tennessee underneath, which sometimes Tennessee. people, when they say Nashville, they forget the Tennessee part. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, Peyton, for even now, I, I would say Peyton still thinks Nashville is its own state. <laughs> kind of like Cal, or kind of like Chicago. You know, Chicago yep. isn't part of Illinois. It's yes. Chicago. Well, unless you're Most a taxpayer. People that live in, if you're a taxpayer yes. in Illinois, <laughs> that's exactly where I was going with that. A part of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, think most people no in Illinois wish Chicago wasn't a part of Illinois. Uh, most uh, of except the people for the people out, that outside of Chicago. That's yes. it. That's exactly yep. right. Yeah. Exactly right. Man, yes. So we should funny. explain why we have. A little bit of a back and forth delay today, so our apologies in advance to our viewers and listeners. Oh, I'm not apologizing. I'm done apologizing. They should just expect it now. <laughs> Look, I'm sure they do. They go, oh, I wonder what the technical difficulty will be this week. I'm confident yeah. that's why most log in. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. How that's we should we should change the tagline from everything and nothing at all to Potty mouths. What not to do? Guess what's wrong this week? <laughs> I like that even better. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, the truth is, I'm actually using my uh, hotspot tethered to my phone, which tells you not a real good Wi-Fi <laughs> connection. No, you need to switch because... over to. Uh, you need to switch over to five G. I would you love to do that, but I'm not going to. Um, but it's green right now as we speak, so that's good. That's good. Um, Mine's not. What what that is is because I am at my mother's place in uh, a small town in southern Wisconsin, and uh, just a chance to hang with her. And um, before this, uh, before our our time together today, we uh, went out to dinner last night and just had a fun fun time so far. So it's always good to stop by and spend a little time with mom. Absolutely. I, you know, if, if I had to stop by and see my mom, it would be a very one-sided conversation. <laughs> it would be in heaven, but at least, at least we'd be looking over the lake yes, that's with right. Carl Polad on one side and, uh, the other politician on the other side that I can't, I, Murray, my stepfather would probably yep. just be delighted that I can't remember Wellstone's name. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you, you like oh, how I slid goodness. that in there? I got yes, that well, well done. played. That, that was well good. played. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, anyway, so uh, I've been doing a little bit of traveling this week again, and and uh, I uh, I had an interesting conversation with someone on the airplane, one of the airplane, one of the many, about different airlines, which I thought was really interesting because she doesn't fly the airline that I normally fly a lot, mm -hmm. and it, it's interesting because you and I have talked about it. People that fly a lot or travel a lot tend to have loyalties to certain things because, hmm. like me, they're all point whores. Yep. And you try to figure out different ways. You know, how does my hotel points, how do they connect to my airline? How does my airline connect to this and to rental cars and stuff like that? And so she tends to fly Southwest a lot. Hmm. She has status on Southwest and that connects, I think it connects to Hilton. I'm not not 100% on that one. I'm not one. sure. Um, it's not the one I fly, so. Right. And uh, we happen to be on the airline that I normally fly, which is United, because it connects to Marriott. Mm -hmm. And I can pass the points back and forth, and I just like it. And I chose to take this, even though I had a layover, uh, which I hate layovers. I like direct, but the, there's no direct flight from here to Dallas. Mm -hmm. So I had to fly from here to Houston, Houston to Dallas. Um, the, the, and the cost wasn't that much different. And, and neither, I mean, the time was a little bit different. And they're both short an hour, flights. But and they're both very short flights, yep. yeah. And and it was interesting because all of the time that I've flown United, with the exception of that one time we talked about in Denver, I have never had a problem. Never had a problem. And yes, my flight was just a little bit delayed this time, uh, but you know, again, they'll take care of they'll take care of us, and it's not a big deal. And I, I made my connection. It's and they actually automatically booked me on the following flight just in case I didn't make my connecting flight. And it, I mean, it's seamless. So I've never had a problem. 
And she said, you know, it never fails. When I take a United flight, I always have a problem. My bags are either lost, they're either delayed or, or some other issue where we have to, you know, it, it just throws the entire uh, trip off. And, mm. and she said, I never have that problem on Southwest. Well, every time I fly Southwest, I'm always delayed or I always have to switch planes or it, it's just, it's, it's interesting to me how ever, other people's experiences are completely different, which builds their loyalty to something specific beyond points. I think a lot of it has to do with justification, self-justification of decisions yeah. you've made, and right. and it happens to all of us in in many different uh, in many different ways. But I, I always equate it to people who uh, would leave one job, and I always think in the dealership world, leave one mm -hmm. job at a dealership and go to another store because right, the grass is always greener on the other yep. side of the fence, and it's not just in the car business; it's throughout many industries sure. and when they get there they will call people they used to work with and just chat them up and things are awesome oh yeah. you wouldn't believe how and then a month later they come back to the initial dealership because right, yeah right. it wasn't that good yeah but they spend all that time with that self-justification that justifies in their minds that decision they've made whether it's correct or incorrect and i think that yeah. happens a lot with all of us when it comes to airlines. I knew I shouldn't have flown. I knew I shouldn't have connected to Chicago, yeah, which has happened. Exactly. United. Yeah. Exactly. So, that's how it, it goes. It just, yeah. It really, yeah. And, you know, there are little other little things like some people, when you're talking about these two in particular airlines, there's some people that don't mind what I call the the cattle roundup, which is, you know, you get on the airplane, you get to pick your own seat, blah, blah, blah. And if you are not in the first, I don't know, 50 people, you're screwed. Yeah. That's how I view it. Yeah. I like having a seat. I like having the ability sure. to upgrade my seat sure. <laughs> if I if I so choose. Yep. I like that. I, I, I don't, don't like the cattle roundup. I don't disagree. I think it's it's what you get used to, but but what yeah. Southwest doesn't have in status, it does have in uh they just seem more uh, Fun. a little friendlier a and a little yep, more, yep. you know, uh, and, but that goes, customer service oriented for sure. But it's a cultural thing. It seems like mm -hmm. as it's not always in some of the other airlines. Um, but you're right. I always am in group a, I pay to be in group a because I don't have status with them. And, mm -hmm. uh, I always want to be in the first, as you said, 40 or 50 that, but I think it's, they do in groups of 30. So 60 yep. that board, yep. And, uh, and the main reason is because you and I are probably the same in that I don't check bags. I always carry on. Right. And, uh, yep. so I, I want to make sure I can fit my carry on bag in the overhead bin. And I, cause I don't yep. ever want to be the guy, uh, where, where do I put it? Cause it's not going to fit. And then you have to yeah, check or have it to anyway. put it five rows back or, and then or, try or to get it. that after the plane yep. lands try to get it. But, hey, excuse me. Could you pass me that one? That's by, no, no, not the red one. Yeah. Although that's pretty. Yep. Um, I, it's the gray <laughs> one that looks like all the other gray ones. It, it's yeah, right. that's how it is. So I'm, we're simpatico. It's, I, I think, you know, you can get used to South. What I like about Southwest is when I fly out in Milwaukee, it's usually a direct flight. And yes. like you, I much prefer direct. Um, but what I don't like is the cattle call you get used to, especially if you pay more not to be a part of it. Um, right. They're pretty organized and they, they board pretty quickly actually compared yeah. to some of the mainline airlines. Very true. Um, and, and that is, so I had to fly some other airlines that, that, that wasn't um, or that weren't uh, United. And I had the same experience because I, I think, I think United does it very, very well. Like our flight was delayed out of Houston back to Nashville. Mm -hmm. uh, thank goodness, because that's the only way I made my connection. <laughs> but again, I was, I was set. I actually, I almost considered waiting for the second flight because I was first in line for an upgrade and there mm -hmm. were three seats open. So I, I knew I would have had first class if I would have waited another hour, but I didn't want to wait an hour in that airport. No, no. Um, and uh, so, because everything, by the way, COVID is, is rearing its ugly head again. So mm -hmm. pretty much everything in that, uh, airport is shut down again. Wow. Uh, so it just, you know, I couldn't go get my gummy bears, but, um, anyway, 
I mean, we loaded quickly. It was not an issue. We got up and we saved time in the air and we actually landed, even though the plane left almost an hour later than it was supposed to, we actually landed in Nashville 30 minutes earlier, not earlier Mm -hmm. than we were supposed to, but earlier than we should have. Mm -hmm. So we flew, it was fast. It was very, very fast. That's awesome. I think I was supposed to get there, get home at 8.30 and I got home at nine. Oh, that's great. That's really good. Okay. Have you rented cars recently? Yes. This week was the first bad experience. Not bad. It wasn't bad. It was not bad, but it was the first, I'll call it the COVID related experience that Ah. other people have been talking about. Okay. Let's hear it. Because I I rent from national usually because (laughs) I I have my bell with me. Ding. I'm sorry. I I know it's a lot of dings today. Uh, and it's, they've been a great experience. I walk right up to the executive area, get in the car and go, never had an issue. And usually nine times out of 10, I'll get the car I want. You know, there was one time I decided it was my decision. One time I decided to take a turd and it was a turd, (laughs) Um, What but I want, it was, it was a, it was a, uh, it was a little truck and I was, I was in Colorado. I like the little Uh, truck. I know you like, the, I like the little trucks, but this yeah. one, when I got in, had 45,000 miles on it, oh, which wow. at a rental place is a lot of miles. Yes. That's um, highly unusual. Yeah. And the whole, it was, it was rad. It had the death rattle. And every time you turn the <laughs> wheel, something went ting under it. It was, it was crazy. So yeah, it was, it was a turd. Yeah. And normally this, this car is not a turd. So yes. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> that that but again that was my choice because there were there were like 10 other cars there I could have I could have taken but I just mm-hmm. I wanted this one because I was in Colorado and I'm like I want I want a truck I want to need a truck I need truck yes. um but so this this time coming into because I was going to Dallas so I flew into Dallas yep. and then got to the rental car place and the executive area which is at, at Dallas is massive I mean there's yeah. three rows and the rows are probably 10 slots deep Mm -hmm. completely empty and there was a line of people waiting for cars oh gosh yeah been there not not horrible they started bringing more cars around eventually Mm -hmm. but they they were waiting so long there were four people in front of me so the one guy at the front got to choose from the premium section so they said well we were waiting too long you guys can start you know, flowing in here, pointing that to that car, pointing to this car, the lady in front of me, Hey, you can grab that BMW down there. And then all of a sudden they start filling in more cars in the executive area. And I'm like, can I go take that infinity down there? No, no, you got cars. Now I got <laughs> stuck in a Toyota. I'm like, <laughs> ding. I'm not allowed to swear because he's in his mom's house, but <laughs> there was an expletive coming out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Toyota. Uh, yeah. So how about you? You know, it's I, I've been, I've been to way too many rental car places. Uh, the one one of the ones that we use for work, our company has deemed them to be a preferred uh, rental car right. company. Is Enterprise Ding, and I, I I like them. I've always liked Enterprise, but I don't have the ability to. I still stand in the line. And okay. so I don't, I don't know why that is, but anyway, in a lot of companies, you just go right outside to where they have the cars. Well, right. we were, we were on a trip to Vegas and this was a, a, not a company trip, but a personal trip to Vegas. We get in, I see this line with no exaggeration, 25 people in it to go up to the counter. And I know that's a hour and a half line. And I'm not yeah. doing it. So I took Lisa and, and our buddy, uh, my buddy, Matt and Carrie, well, Lisa's buddy too. Um, and we went right up to the garage and I walked up and <laughs> I perfected this technique and they go, Oh, you're, you're supposed to be. De- oh, am I? Um, well, I mean, I, I, gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't. So I, should I go back? The guy says, no, we'll, we'll take care of you. <laughs> So, nice. And he looks and and he goes, "Can you live with a F one fifty?" And I said, <laughs> "Guys, can we?" I, I suppose. I suppose I'll keep it at your original rate. Yes, you will. And <laughs> so, <laughs> so we are in this F one fifty. No kidding. Five minutes after we arrived at the wow. rental car place and nice. stared at the long line, and we're pulling out. 
and I'm trying not to point and laugh at the people in line. Um, <laughs> Which and, is but, difficult, I know. Yes, but Lisa, Matt, and Carrie were duly impressed with, <laughs> <laughs> with my ability to, oh, am I... Am I in the wrong place? And I'm not saying it to, you know, because I tricked them or anything. I rent a lot of cars with them, especially these days with Enterprise. And I, you have to have a better plan than that. You have to have a yeah. better process than the. Yeah. And while we're at it, let's just talk about Vegas in general, too. If you've ever stayed on the strip, there are lines of people waiting to check in and check out. It is yes. the worst. And I know what they're yes. trying to do, especially on check-in. They're trying to get you to agree to an upgrade or to agree to pay for some other, you know, uh, uh, really nice uh, added benefit that you want to get. But you have to pay for it. Right. I right. don't do lines. I'm not a line guy. I've waited. Mm, in the last year, I can count on one hand the number of times I've waited for a seat at a restaurant. Uh, one time, though, a pretty special place, an hour and a half wait. I don't do that very often. Happily, we were yeah. at a bar. Uh, so <laughs> any, anyway. That makes I, waiting bearable. Yes, for sure. So these lines just don't work for me. And so I found uh, at the Cosmopolitan thing in Las Vegas, uh, it's a Marriott property. And since you and I are both Marriott, uh, I guess we could call us uh, Grand Poobahs. Uh, they, I found a secret door that they have for grand poobahs who can check in. Nice. I don't have to stand in line anymore. And so I am much more likely to stay at that hotel for that reason than to stand in a line to get a, it's just crazy. I, people yeah. need to, co companies need to figure out how to get beyond that. That of course, well, now and the I, whole COVID you know, thing changes the, you know, the oh, rules yeah. across the board, but anyway. I'm and sorry. it's really interesting. Well, I was, I was talking to our friend, Matt Smolik. No. Uh, about this very thing and or something very similar it not quite at that level and not necessarily when we have to wait but there's two things that we look for when because we we tend to stay at the same hotels sure. in yeah. general just because we we have a specific area so you know we we find the ones we like and we tend to stay there mm -hmm. so if we check in marriott which is why we like marriott we can check in online so there's two things that we look for in these hotels one if I check in online, can I bypass the desk? Mm -hmm. Because they've uh, they've got the technology, which your key is now your phone, or your phone yep. is now your key. Yep. Love that. So if I can do that, ding, that's A, number one. Number two, neither of us watch regular TV anymore. Oh, we right. both watch Netflix, YouTube. You know, that's, that's all we ever watch. Yeah. If the hotel doesn't have that, the TV never comes on. So mm -hmm. we choose to stay with places where they have that, the connected apps, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that's, those are the two things that we look for in our hotels, mm -hmm. connected apps. And can we bypass the desk? Yeah. If you've got, if you tick them both, we're going to stay there every single time. So, oh, and cleanliness. I mean, that's a big one. But that's usually, <laughs> most of these hotels are clean anyways. Yeah. I don't care about clean. <laughs> as yeah. long as they have a connected app to get into the dirty room. Uh, then right. I'm, yeah, no, I'm, Done. I'm with you. And the, the, really the clean goes without saying, um, right. I, I think I, I may have mentioned this, so forgive me if I'm repeating myself, but we did the, the keyed or the keyless entry with the phone at a hotel, oh, I don't know, a month ago or so. And it is great. You're, you're right. It's awesome. It, um, Hilton seems to have it really figured out where you plug it in and it will actually vibrate your phone. And then you hold mm -hmm. it up to the door and it opens the door, which is great. Unfortunately, at this particular property, it had one of those master light switches that requires a key card oh, no. to, to go oh, no. in and activate the lights. So we got I haven't in, seen and I'm that like, in the U.S. Uh, oh, yeah, I've seen them. Uh, yeah, they're, they're um, I'm not sure, probably more prevalent in, in the West, uh, California okay. and so on, but this was in Michigan, oddly enough. And, um, yeah, it had the, and I knew exactly what it was. Lights wouldn't turn on <clears throat> because we didn't have a card. And so That's interesting. I went down to the front desk and I'm sort of rolling my eyes and they said, I know, I'm sorry. I said, why don't you just put a blank card in there? And then it will allow you to operate the lights. It doesn't have to be programmed to the door or anything. I know. <laughs> so I'm like, well, then fix it. I don't. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, don't that understand was, the that, thinking. 
I've seen some YouTube channels of the people that travel all over the world, yeah. and whenever they go to Europe, they have those, and I think they're fascinating. I think that's a great idea. But you make a great point that I never thought about. What happens when you're when you start using the smart key? Yep. You know, you can't. Or if you can't got, get they access, do have to figure to, something out. If you can't get access to the uh, to the fitness center, or if you can't get access yeah. to something else, most of them allow that. Um, yes. And have that pre-programmed, but still, it's those little things, the quirky things that we know. I need my key for A, B, and C, and if it's you know, and if I'm having to dance around, I'm waiting outside the side door to try to get yeah. in and, oh, you're not connecting and oh, come on, then it's, yeah. it's never a good thing. Yeah. So and they I, have to proactively to look point. at that stuff. Yeah. And I think to your point, they are getting better at it. I mean, I haven't I had agree. that side door issue in a long time. Right. Uh, I, my phone lets me in, but you know, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, that's I just, I never thought of that because I've never seen it. <laughs> I have not. I'm looking I've always at, wanted I, to. Maybe I could slide my phone hey, in the slot. Keep your phone. No, on it. Yeah, work. there you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. funny. So now, if we come up with a way to keep something like that technology, yeah. we could be billionaires overnight. Uh, but that wouldn't be us. Then we'd probably no. turn into because I know if we became billionaires, we'd take all the money and put it in potty mouths. Well, absolutely. Why wouldn't we? I mean, we'd upgrade the website, which you can find at pottymouths.com, or can. we'd upgrade a lot of the... Pardon? You can. I was just going to say. Jen. I thought you said we'll upgrade Jen. I'm like, no, we don't need to upgrade Jen. No, Jen's wonderful. That's She's what I heard. I already know. top upgrade. She's at the exactly. top Exactly. I can't yeah. I, yeah. I can't compete, you know, with, with yeah, well, I'm anything just greater than that. So, the, anyway, I think um, the big thing about that is if we were billionaires... We could make the potty mouths, the S, a dollar sign. Nice. Yes, <laughs> we could do that. That would, and and it would, well, we could make it out of gold, gold of leaf. Well, gold leaf, I'm not sure we'd have any left over after we did our teeth. Got to get well, the I grill. was going to say, the grill oh, you're going to do the, the teeth. I was going to say oh. after I used it on my, my uh, hot fudge sundae, sprinkling it on the whipped cream. <laughs> The gold leaf, the edible yes. gold leaf. Yeah, gold leaf. That sounds delicious. Sorry, I had to explain yeah. that to John. He had no idea what I was talking about. Uh, what on your but any Sunday? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we we could also <laughs> upgrade a lot of the content that goes on our Facebook, which you can and 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 Instagram and Twitter, which you can find links to that at pottymiles.com. We could even improve the merch Wait. store. Where no. can you find the merch store? At pottymiles.com. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you have I, I any trouble answer. finding www.pottymiles.com, you can find did the link just say in our w show. Notes. W I did. W I did. Who does I did. That? You know, you, I, it's so I have heard people um, now start saying dub, dub, dub. And I'm like, what the beep is dub, dub, dub? <laughs> I mean, do we even really need to say that? I don't, I know I don't need to say www. You should start a but new I'd thing. But I'm never, so, ever, ever going to say dub, dub, dub. <laughs> start a new thing where you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Starting it right now. Head up to whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. So what's our website? Pottymouse.com. Pottymouse.com. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs. You heard it here, folks. Of, we'll have a lot of dogs. You heard it here first. Our website. Yes, where we did will. You go to, where did you go to get that shirt? I went to whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pottymouse.com. <laughs> <laughs> we are starting a new trend we are going oh this this video is going to trend i think and it is. I we think need your is. help getting this video to trend it watch trend. it like it <laughs> click on the links in our bio get to our web we're not supposed to say that anymore by the way google doesn't like that oh. click on the links in our bio or no what is it there is something that they they're starting to tell people not to do it actually oh. works against them from an seo standpoint well, let's not. And do I that. don't remember what it is. I was, I was, I have it in my notes, my to-do list to look into it a little bit more oh, because okay. I thought it was cool. fascinating. You know, because we, we, as potty mouths, we trend. Our, well, our yeah. videos trend. So, so you could probably find out more information if you went to www.google.com. Probably, yeah. I, I spend <laughs> a lot of time at www.google.com. <laughs> Me too. Okay, I'm I, I also. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness you also what, uh on that note john i think <laughs> I, what 
What? You I just didn't said I also anyway, and then he stopped. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I that's usually how my brain works. I say also, you know, <laughs> no, I don't I don't know anymore, so why should you? This that's is why my, you, my life. how you get people to come back after a commercial. We need to start doing commercials oh, that's when people go idea. to what well, 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 dot 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 com, they could right. maybe watch a commercial and then you say i was thinking of something else see you after the commercial and you come back and you don't even say anything about it and they go what happened <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get with the potty mouth that's exactly exactly <laughs> but would you expect anything less uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> we will try harder we promise that absolutely what, try what, harder for why us. i'm here <laughs> <laughs> i wonder if that url is taken someone look up wah 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 dot why am it? i why am i here wah 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 dot why am i here yeah maybe dot org is available will be a, a yeah, 501c3 yes. or dot edu on that note john and everybody we are going to do a short one this week because we're not edu. We can't get an edu. Yeah. Pottymouse.edu. That's Pottymouse University. Um, we no. 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 Well. <laughs> anyway, we have to make this short because be John's got to go. Uh, he's got to go spend time with his mother. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to happy hour. Good for you. you. Yeah. What? I know. Maybe yeah. I can get anyway. mom too. She can. Hey, I was surprised you didn't bring her on the podcast. She is a listener. I, I was going to suggest have. that, but then I knew it's going to be like three hour, a three hour episode. Well, she, she said no swearing in my house. And <laughs> I, said, she, I said, you mean Nick, obviously, because I never. And uh -huh. she said, yes, no swearing on this one. And so I, I didn't trust you. Hey, it's John's effing mom. I figured that's what you'd say the second you saw her. Mm, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> you I, probably. Probably. <laughs> oh, Anywho. Man. Always good I to hope, see you, bro. Always good to see you, too. I hope all of our listener watchers, watcher listeners, viewers, uh, you all have a great week. And we will uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. See ya!